What's up, everybody? I'm Derek Gamer. Welcome back to the channel. Today, today, we're back with some more Monster Hunter. And today, I'm going to answer the question you guys have been asking me for so long. Hey, 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 where are you going to make a long story video? How to use long story? Yada, yada, yada. So today, today, we're back. And I'm going to show you guys my techniques, what I use, how I approach long story, how I approach my matches. We'll do a fight afterwards and see it all played out in action. So my fam, without further ado, let's dive in. So first things first, when you're using a new weapon, you're switching over. A lot of people are like, DJ, DJ, I watch your videos. I see how you do the whole long sword thing. I want to try that. I'm switching over. I'm having difficulties. I'm enjoying it. So first thing you want to do is figure out what your actual move sets are. What are you actually going to be using in battle? You get a lot of moves, but sometimes you might not use all of them. Some of them take a little bit more time to get used to it with the practice and timing. But as you start getting used to it, you start figuring out what your go-to moves are first. That's where I'll start. So for me, basics 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 so first thing whenever i pick up a new weapon i figure out what is my safe attacks how am i going to get an attack out in as quick amount of time as possible what are my longer attacks that can lead to other things so first thing is i want to look i want to know what this my range range of my attacks so i put my weapon out boom i know that that's a distance right there for me the monster guy spacing is everything fighting games melee games spacing is everything so triangle is how i typically pull my sword out and that's important too so which one's faster so you put our weapon away, a triangle, that's like a half a second delay, right? To pull it out. Or I can do a spirit slash. Look at that one. That one's like a full second. So now it depends on what I'm trying to accomplish. I can do one of those. The reason I'll pull that one out is if I have a tight window with a monster. For example, a monster's coming out. I want to attack. And I want to counter really quick. That one can give me a little bit more timing. Opportunity. But if I start with a spirit slash, I can maybe start a little more, more, more damage. I will start with Spirit Slash by gauging the top left is full, and if I just want to build my meter all the way. So if I was in a position where I was here, like this, and this this, this video is going to be just freestyle raw. I'm just going to go through the motions. I will start here. That way I can start getting my Spirit Gauge up. <laughs> this also does more damage as well. Boom. And I got my one level. The goal with Longsword is maintain red. Maintain red. What does that mean? Right now we're on white. You never want to let your spirit gauge go below. You always want to keep it on red or yellow. So boom. <laughs> boom. All right. Now we've got something to work with. So this is where you're typically going to be. Because this means at this point, you have one more level. You're ready to do your foresight. And if you're at this level, that means you just got done doing your foresight as well. So that's this is kind of where you want to stay. So when I say red, you want to stay right here. Boom. This is where you do your... This is striking point. Where you do the most amount of damage. And all your combos gonna look special, extra crispy with the forms, with the helm splitter. So with the basics, going back to regular attack, everything is calculated. Calculate, calculate, calculate all your moves. So typically you can do attack triangle, 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 triangle. Starts over triangle, 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 triangle. You see that motion right there? Helps you understand what move comes next. <coughs> Me personally, I like doing a triangle, circle, triangle, circle. Why? Because it gives me a chance to wait for the monster to do his attacks. So I can foresight it. Foresight is going to be a bread and butter with this weapon. What is foresight? You hit R2 and circle. It gives you a invincible frames that you, uh, allows you to dodge that counter. Dope thing about foresight is it lets you put yourself in position where you don't take any damage. But also at the same time, it helps you build your meter if you get all the way up. So with this game, the big thing is going to be on timing. So it takes a little bit of time to realize everything. Boom, there it is, got the foresight. So the first time I didn't get it because I wasn't I was too early on it. So just be ready with every single monster you fight. It's gonna take some time to get it used to their moveset. That's the second thing. First part is knowing exactly what your weapon can do. What's your recovery time? Like I can know, boom, how long can I hold this right here before he puts it away? I can no longer do foresight. How long can I hold it here? So I need to be able to know how long it takes for each one to expire so I know when to pull the foresight at any time. Cool thing about foresight, you can position yourself again. Depending on where you look, that's where you're going to be aim afterwards. I want to look this way, boom. That way. I want to look this way, boom. Where you, The direction you pull your foresight is the direction you're going to be looking afterwards, which is very, very important. So, attacking combos. There's a lot of videos out there, but you guys want to know my way how I do things. My attacking combo is, is like this. I start off, my goal is to build a meter as fast as possible. So, I'll go to zero right now. Okay, I'm at zero. Fast, there's two ways I typically do this, depending on where the monster is, how much time I have left. First way would be I will come out two attacks, 
triangle circle that gives me enough boom to build the build a level quick boom the level is built quick other way you can do it is triangle go into the stance hit real quick that way you're good you don't have to do any more attacks the monsters are going crazy things are popping off you can position yourself get ready to do that attack then come out boom boom wait for the monster see boom pull it pull it so i've been a fan of using that attack a little bit more recently because it has helped me build my meter regardless i don't have to do anything it's easy work and there it is as well so this attack i like this attack as well it's really good for repositioning yourself is a triangle and circle. Put yourself in a position where you can like be safe. You need to do one attack first if you can go into it. So those are my two opening combos. It's triangle, triangle, <laughs> triangle, circle, R2, boom. And it makes you build your this slash faster. It's the fastest way to get into the helm splitter. I mean to build your level up so you can get to helm splitter. So that's the first thing. And also too, I said earlier, boom. I like position myself in a way where I can just wait, 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 wait. It's all about us attacking. It's all about your attack pattern and also knowing the monsters move set and pattern. So spend some time each monster. Just focus one monster at a time. You guys know I love Valkana. You know I love Nergagantic. I like taking my time identifying. All right, what is this monster right here? How do they react? What are, what are, what's, what's, what attacks can I expect next? So the better you are at reading the monster attack, the better you are using your moves. You must master your basic moves. How long it takes me to recover? Boom. If I need more time, once I know my spacing and my timing, then I can go into my attacks from there. <laughs> Helm splitter. You only want to hit Helm splitter when you need to. When you need to. When a monster stunned, days. Sometimes it's okay to throw something out there just to see what happens, but you want to wait to the position where. You know you're gonna land it. It's kind of like a situation when you're. I'm, I was in the war, but I've heard you do want to shoot until you see the white of the person's eyes. I like don't just start throwing things out just because you have it. Wait, and that's one thing that these games will teach you. It's all about being patient, 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 patient. So next one, new moves with a longsword, eye slash. We've checked. We talked about this one. This one's really good for building meter. If your attack connects, just the way my meter is, meter is building right now, you'll continue to get that. Next thing is in the next one, the IS slash is, is good because it's really, really tight window. And that one takes some time, and you're not going to get it every time. I've been doing it for a long time. Sometimes you pull it the first time, sometimes you don't. So, like, essentially what you're doing is it's a very, very tight window right before you're about to go. Put it away. Yep, see? And that one, that's how you learn. So, let's see. I'll, pull, I'll get this next one. So, come here. Just like that. Practice your timing. Practice your timing. It's a very, very tight window. The cool thing about that attack is once you get it, you keep your level of charge as well. But also, too, it allows you to... Oh, see, I was too early right there. A second later. You got to feel it. It allows you to keep your level of a charge. Say you're on red, you'll keep red, which will allow you to do a Helm Splitter, a Spirit Gate attack. Helm Splitter afterwards. Oh, here we go. Just like that, you can come back with another attack right afterwards. That's the one thing I like about that. So that's a little bit more of the advanced. Like, take some time to learn the basics. And start playing around with it. Also, too, you can't get combos if you don't go for them. You can't be a weenie. You can't be a weenie. You see big attacks, foresight them. That should always be your first attempt. Thing you're going to do is foresight it. Foresight has such a big window, which is like, thank you, Capcom. A big, big window, which makes the attack very, very usable. So let's wait. Boom. Oh, not that one. But it has a very, very big window you could take advantage of. Always try to foresight your attacks. Because it allows you to get that counter, build that level up afterwards, you're golden. The one thing about foresight, you need to have meter in order to take advantage of it. So always use it because it's your your go-to attack just like that. You have meter, you're golden. Take advantage of it because it helps you build your level up quickly. Build your level up quickly. You can do more helm spray, do more helm spray, do more damage, do more damage. The monster is done easier. All those videos you see people doing like crazy time speed runs is because it's all about optimizing your run. Optimizing your moves to use the one that's gonna do the most damage and the most opportune time. So boom. There it is. I just wait. And there it is. It's golden. Easy peasy. Another very, very useful thing is you can do attacks in the middle of your spirit combo. So spirit combo is when you're trying to build your meter up, right? Boom, boom. Trying to get your meter up. 
so you can get your you can get to the next level. So right now I'm trying to go from white to yellow. So in order for me to go from white to yellow, what I'm gonna do is I gotta use my spirit gauge. As I use my spirit gauge, as you see, it's decreasing, right? Naturally, it makes sense. It's decreasing. What happens? I'm in a situation where I'm like this, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna get it all the way, but I want to start that combo. It might be a little low. But what you can do is you go attack while you're doing this to make sure you get enough hits to build a combo at the end. See how I did that? If I'm in a, if I was in a situation where I can't build enough because I'm right here and like let's see, boom, boom, see, I can't get the last hit now because I didn't get I didn't build enough meter. So if you're in that situation, what you can do like that, you can. Hit it, boom, attack, triangle, triangle. Now I got enough to get me there. So don't be afraid of little things like that. If you mess up, you miscalculate, it happens to all of us to take advantage of your attacks. Longsword is very, very fluid. It's one of the most stylish weapons in the game. It's all about taking your time, being slow and patient, and being graceful with your attacks. So boom, 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 boom. Boom. It's just like dancing. I see this weapon like dancing. That's why I like it so much. It's like you're just like flowing, flowing, flowing with your attack. If there's only one thing you take away from this video, only one thing, the one thing I will say is go for foresight. Foresight is your best evasion against every single thing in this game. Roars, attacks, stuns, everything. Always go for foresight. So many people say, DJ, DJ, you run a, gas can a glass cannon build, a glass cannon. Why don't you use defense? Why don't you use all these things? You don't need it if you're foresighted. If you know your monster's moveset, if you foresight through everything, you're okay. You'll be just fine. So what I might challenge to all of you guys that want to use this weapon, or people that have been using this weapon, maybe you're scared, go for foresight because they shall set you free. So, also too, if you guys are enjoying this video, if you guys are new, I know a lot of you guys are new to my channel, make sure you guys subscribe, join the Smooth Family. We also stream on Twitch, and I got a link in the description as well. But join the Smooth Family, like the video, do all that stuff. So what I'm going to do next is... I'm gonna take this weapon and this what I've told you everything and use it against an actual monster. Some monster that I my personal favorite that I've already I feel like I've got a really really good grasp on is moveset. And we're gonna see how all these things I tell you play out and we'll see what how the match goes. So fam, without further ado, let's dive in. Alright, first you wanna do just some juicy juice if you want to, get that damage up. Go for us, do as much damage as possible. I got Mr. Whiskers with me. We're looking extra crispy. Look at my boy. Woo! Alright, let's get out of there. Just call us a double dragon. That's our name from now on. All right, first things first, beat the roar. Boom. Like I said, foresight everything, baby. Ooh, second and middle meter couldn't build up fast enough. Woo! There it is. There it is. Take those windows, baby. Take those windows, baby. There it is. Oh, wasn't close enough to his body to hit that one in leg right there. That leg will be mine, Nergi. Don't worry. Let that build up. What's he gonna do? Boom. 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 Woo! There it is. You're always in a state of preparation. Always preparing for that next move. There it is. Okay. There it is. So take a couple of these, boom, boom. Take that one, because Nergi gets up pretty quickly, so you want to make sure you don't waste too much time. Boom, there it is. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. I'm not going to be able to do anything after this one. So I just waited. Just wait, build my meter. I got the boost from my evasion mantle. Boom. Is he gonna come towards me? There it is. It's all about positioning, baby. It's all about positioning. Take that one. Oh, see, it will. It looked good and it looked good in practice, right? In my mind, it was perfect, but sometimes it doesn't really come out the way you want it to, and that's okay. Just keep on going. Innovate. React. Based on the information you got. Boom. 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 Nope. Uh oh, missed that one. Got that one though. There it is. See? Like I like hitting that. Oh! Come on, baby, connect. We need those. 
Are you joking? Like I said, guys, it doesn't always work out the way you want it to, even though it should look crispy as hell. But I'll take this one when it comes back down. Boom. Roll to him. Long has fantastic mobility. See? Wait. I'm in between my attacks. I'm waiting. Wait. 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 Be patient. Just tap. 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 So since I got that one, I'll just run and dive. I knew it was coming after me. See? Boom. Wait. What's he doing? I was like, that one's not going to hit me, so I'll chill. Spacing is everything in this game. Spacing is everything. Okay. Mr. Whistler said, watch your damn mouth. Don't come at me. Sideways. Sacrifice must be made. I was good on that one. What I want to do right now is I want to get my attack up so I can build my meter. Take that one. Always go for force. I told you already. I knew I was going to get hit by that one, but it's fine because I hit him one time, so I was able to build my meter. And I'm guessing you guys are recognizing what the goal is of Longsword. Build the damn meter. Build the meter. Stay down. Protect myself. Get one of these. Thank you. Get that. Looking good. Looking good. Take it. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. One thing I'm currently working on as well is using my attacks when I know he's going to be coming up. That way I can start that stun reset on him to get that next stun. See? All about, I know his moveset. I saw his, what he's doing. Chill. I could probably get this one right here. <clears throat> that was a risky one. I said, why not? Just throw it out. Sometimes, okay, just throw it out. Get that damage. Chill. There it is. Another one. I'm going to get like two attacks on this one before I go up. I could already have got like a little bit more attacks. Boom. Catch him in that spot. That was a sneak attack. I couldn't do anything about that one yet. Take it. Ooh. Okay, he's not coming after me. Sometimes I like staying on the ground after a big attack like that just to see like what options are available to me. There it is. Take as much as you can. Take as much as you can. I'm looking for damage right now, so I'm hitting I came out with a spirit helm. Take it. Damage right now. I know I got my bleed on me. It's, a, it's contradicting my pre performance, but it's okay. Stay down here. Are you gonna dive? Dive? There it is. I was like, where's the dive at? So, with that one, I had to get out of there because I needed to fire, free myself so I can heal. So that move is life or dead. It can save you. Position yourself for your next home splitter. Or put you in a position where you can heal yourself if you need to. Woo! Let's go, baby. Beautiful. Beautiful. Calculated. Focus. Got some good hits on them as well. But they would take advantage of our moves. And that's the goal with Longsword. It takes time and practice. A lot of people say, play the million weapons, play a million weapons. You can do that. Or you can focus. Bruce Lee always said, don't fear the man that knows 100 weapons. No, fear the man that knows one weapon that he swings 100 times. So that's the approach you want to take all these weapons in this game. Slow and steady. Slow and steady. We'll see what we get. Well, this is not a match where you get any kind of, invest, any kind of jewels. Because this is the one where you get the spirit stone. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something. We'll see what time we get. And I will do more videos like this on the channel of other weapons I use. But also, if you're new, make sure you guys subscribe. Six minutes and 32 seconds. Not bad at all. I'll take it. Not bad at all. All right. Adrian, thanks for watching. Until next time, my family, dear gamers, signing out.